Ah, I nearly roll over my leg. Well, <laughs> welcome everyone. So today we will be speaking about DJI Avata and manual mode for DJI Avata. So, as everyone knows, DJI Avata is DJI's latest FPV drone. So, it's quite nice, flying very nicely. I like it, I like it a lot. So, but for most of the people, uh, how they are using it, they are using it in normal or sports mode, which I'm not saying that they are not fun to fly, they are, and it's amazing to fly in uh, sports mode or uh, normal mode. So, sorry about the noise, if you can hear it outside, there is someone just doing something and some cars is passing, so let's get back to video. DJI Avata and manual mode. So, for manual, you will need, of course, DJI Avata and RC3 controller or they have as well in a combo with uh, motion controller but unfortunately I don't have it and honestly I didn't try it and I'm not sure that I will but um, as I have the RC3 so that is enough for me and it should be enough for anyone flying FPV with DJI Avata. So, first of all, when you want to start to fly DJI Avata in manual, I assume that if you find this video, that means that you know how to fly in a normal and sports mode. So now is like a sort of next step for you to go to manual. So first of all, please make sure that your drone, your goggles, your controller is charged you have the memory card if you have one if no there is 49 gigabytes of storage in dji avata which is honestly plenty enough to shoot 4k 60 videos and as i have just two batteries that is plenty for storage so i'm not using the memory card but yeah make sure that everything is charged and ready to fly then the next step find some location with open field where is less as possible or no obstacles at all because that will be helping you a lot because when you are starting to fly manual that means that you are the brain behind drones movement it's not anymore the drone as it is in normal or sports mode where you just take it off and fly around and it hovers on its own and you just turn it left right up down whatsoever now when you are trying manual all drones movements depend on you from your inputs on the sticks so if you are not giving a throttle it will just simply not go anywhere. It will just stay there. So let's say you arrived in a space where you want to fly and you are happy with the weather and everything and so on, so on, so on. So the next one, you should twitching actually Avata to manual mode by, because by default, when you are buying it, manual mode is not enabled. So you need to go in uh, settings, controls, there is the last one, which is the um, whatsoever custom mode. And there you need to select manual because by default it's staying on sports mode. So when you select the manual, you are ready to actually activate DJI Avata in manual mode. And then if you go where is gain and export down there after the, all the rates and everything, there is a small tick, which is altitude limit. Make sure to remove it when you are ready for full on FPV acro mode for the Avata. Because if it's still on, you sort of can switch to manual, but it will not allow you 
to do complete rolls or complete flips it will be stopping in i'm not sure what is the angle but it, i think it's like this so you will not be even though if you give full input on a roll it will not do the roll because it will stop here because of this altitude limit tick so it's it's like a driving a bicycle with those small wheels on the side when you are like yeah i'm driving the bicycle but i'm a little bit safe so keep in mind if you want to start in that mode go ahead start in that one see how it feels how it flies and then it's still manual mode it's still going to depend on your throttle on the turnings and everything the same as the fpv but the difference is it will not be flipping or rolling or till the end full 360. so when you are done with that flying around and you are like yeah okay i can fly you can really go back and remove the tick from there and now you are in full manual mode of dji avatar so when you are ready to start just simply simply first of all when you are arming the drone the throttle needs to be down all the way down not in the middle not if it's somewhere in between it will not allow you to arm the drone so need to be all the way down and then by default on uh, dji there is a start stop button on the remote control you just press it twice and it will arm the drone so the motors is spinning everything is ready you are ready so gently increase the throttle and you will see that the drone will start to take off but there is the thing don't don't panic just do it slightly just increase all the way don't stop in the middle don't don't do or otherwise it will start to bounce and all that you will get ah, and you throw everything away anyway but for the dji there is one very nice thing which helps a lot when you are actually starting fpv that is panic button stop button so in case if you are just going up and something is happening you are like fuck i'm done just press the button it will automatically switch to normal mode and it will even itself and it will stay down okay it will take few seconds to actually do it don't uh, think that you are flying with whatsoever 50 kilometers or more an hour and suddenly there is a wall and you are like pump press the pause button it's like stop near the wall no it will fucking hit it it will hit it and you will just send it to dji care that's it doesn't matter and if you have it or you don't have it doesn't matter you still can send it you will need to pay more but you still can get new avatar but yeah i mean if you are high enough and you see that you lose control or it's going somehow how you don't want it to go just just press the pause button and that's it and then just start all over again switch to manual and it will ask you to even out the sticks and and everything will be okay and you can continue flying so when you are ready and you are feeling comfortable of lift off flying around and seeing things and having a feeling how it is actually to fly in manual because that is a little bit different than um, normal drone flying because you are adjusting every single movement of the drone and it's not so that you're just ah, arrived on a spot like with the mini 4 pro or the manual not the manual normal or sports mode and be like yeah okay i will have a cigarette or whatsoever ah, i think that it's fine no 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 in a moment you release the hands from the controller that's it it will continue doing whatsoever you left it on the controller if your throttle is still up it will just continue going up the same if you do the pitch 
it will go till that level even though the stick is coming back and you're like okay yeah it's coming back no the drone is still staying like that and it will still go like that so that is the difference between the manual flying and the whatsoever automated flying dji is offering so when you're comfortable with that now is the time for some tricks so the basic tricks like rolls and flips quite easy you just if you want to roll the drone you just press on one or another side and it will just roll and just of course you look in the camera what is happening you are not just like ah, closing eyes and if you will keep holding it there it will keep spinning in a moment you will stop it will stop in no matter which angle you left it and it will continue like that and if your throttle is up it will go down and that's it you are far anyway so that is first basic tricks rolls and flips easy you just get an altitude roll the drone on one side on another side you want to do the flip do the flip so you do the pitch pitch down it will flip like this pitch up it will flip like that easy there is one trick which makes it way easier i saw that um some people is telling yeah okay you just roll it or flip it or whatsoever and it's fine but if in that moment when you are planning to do roll lower the throttle and you do the roll it will make it more cleaner but then don't forget it you need to put it back or otherwise it will down and that's it and doesn't matter you will be oh i'm rolling i'm rolling no if your throttle is still down you will be going down so that helps as well with throttle control because you need to remember that oh i need to get it back in the same level let's say you you fly and you want to do the roll you just throttle down roll throttle back here you go easy now when you are enjoyed everything and it's showing the notification that the battery low and return to home and all that so you need to land it okay so there is coming in the dji safety features which is amazing in that sense that they have it so any given time let's say you finish flying you just press back to normal mode sports mode or whatsoever or just press pause button and it will automatically switch to normal mode so in that case when you are in normal mode you just proceed as you was flying in a normal mode and you just come down to landing place put the throttle down it's landing and that's it finished easy or if you want to do it in the which i would not honestly suggest to land it in complete manual mode because these things is not durable they are not even if you just okay if the height is not so big and you just land it and it's it will not break but in the same time they are like from a glass i mean if it will do some roll or something and your speed is not right and everything and you hit something oh man you will you will send it to dji care again so the best to land is just press change the mode to normal mode or the panic button keep in mind this one if you are flying dji this this will save you this will save your not i don't want to say life that will save your money sometimes even a life i mean i had the situation when i was flying in manual and i saw that there is a kid who was just like very curious oh wow what is happening so i was like okay yeah i will be just flying around and i was coming down and he decided that he will run in front of the drone and imagine i'm coming on the split s with whatsoever 50 kilometers an hour this this is 600 grams this is 600 grams and if this would hit the kid i would have a court case i mean so better if you want to land just change the to this one this one change to pause button change the mode get down land it 
if you want to if you have a sand or what so do the the hand uh, hand thing which which i will put the video maybe somewhere here after this take a look how to launch and and land the avatar from the hand so if you enjoyed the video i hope the sound was okay and everything was okay so if you have some more questions about DJI Avata or you want to see some more content related to DJI Avata FPV, cinematic or whatsoever, leave down in the comments. I will make another video. So I hope that now you learned something and you are ready to start to be flying in manual mode and will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. So go out, get some flight timing and practice this is all what it takes